Welcome to the series of tapes designed in this case to acquaint you with the first year experience at Millersville and the three credit inquiry course that all exploratory students take. I'm Dr. Alf Anton and your host for the series and with me I have one of the stellar first year experience <laughs> teachers, Dr. Dan O'Neill. Dan, Thanks. I want to welcome you. Thanks, Doc. Nice to be here with you. Yeah, and, and we all know that you have done this for a number of years. First of all, before we get there, where are you from? I grew up outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, okay. uh, here, and uh, uh, my family had moved there from New York for my dad's job, and uh, uh, we lived there through for my childhood and uh, a teenage years until I went to college. Okay. And where was college? And I went to Haverford, outside of Philadelphia. Okay. Yeah. And then you went on and got a doctorate somewhere. Too. I did. I also did that in Philadelphia. I went to Hahnemann University. It was a medical school there, and they had a psychology, clinical psychology okay. grad program. All right. Well, the real reason you're here is because you teach a first-year three-credit inquiry course. I do. It's called Home and Homelessness, right? That's right. Why do you do this? Well, for a number of reasons. One is I really like working with freshmen. Okay. Uh, and I also was looking to have a different kind of experience and relationship with students than I could have with, in my work at the Counseling Center. Okay. I, most of my appointment at Millersville is here at the Counseling Center. I see students mm -hmm. uh, in therapy and counseling. And I was really looking to have a different kind of experience with students where I could be you know, in, involved in some sort of intellectual pursuit and also maybe give them some support and assistance as they get settled here at the university. Okay, so you've done this for how many years now? I've okay. seen it quite a few years. I think this is my eighth year. Of the same course? Not of the exact same course. Okay. I, I, I was around when they were doing the one credit, one credit seminars, right. and I taught one credit seminars I think three times, and then I started teaching this three credit course. And you also do something quite unique. You advise every single student in your seminar, right? I try to, Doc. I think that's an important part of the experience, and and uh, I I like having that advisor relationship with students and being able to to uh, give them that support in class as well. Okay, and you're doing something really unique. I mean, you may have been doing it all along, but I just found out you yeah. do group advising. I do some group advising. Yeah. How do you do that? Um, well, I. Uh, it's always a challenge. Every year when registration comes around, I think, gosh, I've, I have a lot of advisees. How do I get this information out to them about advising? How do I meet with everybody and, and uh, still see everybody I'm seeing at the counseling center? So I decided to uh, I devote a certain period of some of the class time to advising issues. Okay. And we talk about some of that in class. And I also have open advising sessions where small groups of students can come and we can talk about registration and I can answer their questions. Yeah, I saw this when you were down in Lyle's second floor. It said group advising. That's right. That's not done at Millersville by anybody but you. Did you know that? I, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> to my knowledge. Yeah. Of course, well, I don't know everything. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, I think it really, there are pros and cons to it. I think what really works about it is that freshmen sometimes don't even know that they're, they don't know enough sometimes to even know their questions. Okay. Um, it's hard for them sometimes to articulate their questions about the registration process okay. or courses or how one goes about deciding on a major. And so I find it very useful that if, if I see them in a small group or in the group, that a, some, one student's question may really help another student to articulate okay. something that they don't understand about the curriculum or registration or the nuts and bolts of, okay. of Max and TAP and all that stuff. So. I think that's, that's really helpful. Okay. The other is that a lot of times, especially first year students, I think they need, they all need to hear a lot of the same information okay. um, about the way courses work, the way registration work, prerequisites, all those kinds of things. You know all that yeah. so well. Um, so I, I think that's the pro is that then you really can get that information out there and they can, can uh, hear other people's questions well, there must and be think some about cons. it. I think there are some cons. Um, you know, the opportunity to really sit down and talk at a, sometime at a deeper level with your advisees is something that's very valuable. And so those conversations can't, those don't happen as easily in a group setting. Students aren't willing to sometimes to reveal some of their worries in front of other people. Okay. So I have, I look for other opportunities to have those kinds of conversations with students. Well, you certainly impact students because we did a video of a young lady who had, I think, you last year, right? 
and she thought you were one of the greatest advisors in the world. Very helpful, very personable, very nice. Um, I loved him. I know he, he was very patient with everybody because a lot of us are, you know, first year students not really knowing where we are, what we want to do, and he was very patient with us and helped us as much as he could. I hate to embarrass you, but what made you so great? What do you do that's so different? I, you don't know? I'm not exactly sure. I think... Um, Can I tell you what I think it is? Okay. You really talk to the person. You listen to the person. And you also help the people. And yeah. they know that. Students well, know that. That's nice of you to say that, Doc. I think I, I really do care about what, what happens to students here. Okay. And I, I think I try to convey that. I'm interested in what they're going through, and I'm interested in trying to help them solve the problems they're coming okay. up with, against. It's now eight years. Yeah. Are today's students different than eight years ago, three years ago, five years ago? And how? You know, I think there's a certain commonality of all college students, the eight, you know, something about the age and the developmental issues. But I, I do think that students these days are facing some pretty tough circumstances, and I think it's affecting them. Okay. I find students to be pretty stressed and, and pretty anxious about the future. Okay, because of the economy and I all that I think the stuff economy. Like I remember when I went to college, and this was right after the end of the Ice Age, I know, really. But I went to college in a much more optimistic time. Okay. And the people were Set optimistic of about the future. Today, huh? I think there's more pessimism, and I think students are affected by that. Okay. So uh, are they more serious about their studies? Are they about the same? I think that's about the same. That's about the same. I think that's about the same. I, I have to say, Millersville students are hardworking students. Okay. And that's, that hasn't changed over okay. the eight years that I've been teaching. Okay. Any final comments? Anything you think we've left off? other than take Dan O'Neill's Home and Home <laughs> I think that, that first year seminars are fantastic. They're great for the faculty member. I've gotten a lot of benefit from teaching this class, okay. personally and professionally. But I think they're great for students too. Okay. The opportunity to, to study something in a smaller group with a professor who's sensitive to some of the transition issues while still pursuing the intellectual content, I think that's a great opportunity. Well, Dan, I want to thank you. And you know how much I appreciate, as director of the exploratory program, you taking all the students yeah. selfishly. <laughs> selfishly. Yeah, yeah. But I also appreciate the time that you spend with them That's individually. Great. Well, thank you, Doc. I want to thank you for listening. A home and Homelessness, one of many seminars at Millersville, our inquiry courses. Make sure when you get that letter in the spring, you check your five categories, and you might be able to get the one you want, number one. Thanks for listening.